Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. Let's go to school for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, Stetson Bennett is a walk-on college football player who is now one of Georgia's heroes. A walk-on athlete is a player who becomes part of a team without having to be recruited or awarded a scholarship. Stetson completed his childhood dream a week ago in Athens, Georgia, when he got the chance to play in the Georgia Bulldogs football team and became the first quarterback in 41 years to lead Georgia to a championship. His message to underdogs everywhere was clear, to show up, work hard, and ignore all the negative noise. He is truly an inspiration. Now let's go to Angelie for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is potluck day, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch day. One of a seat, and let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Angelie. Our March Already Challenge is all known and ends on March 16th. Students must have 25th past math and reading already lessons to get to the glow party. Let's get our lessons done and glow crazy for this next challenge. I can't wait. Let's get our glow on. The Hero Store is now open. The store is open from 7.30 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. and it's in room 114. Have a look at this schedule to see when you will be able to attend. Tomorrow, only 7th and 8th graders can go to the Hero Store. Let's keep storing up those Hero Points. Scholars, it is now time to let your vote count. Student government voting will take place this Friday, January 21st. Here is a list of the students that are running. And now let's check out these campaign videos from your candidates. I'm Brianna Duque, running for vice president, and this is why you should vote for me. First of all, I'm the best candidate for this upcoming school year because I hope to replace old equipment with new and better equipment to use. Also, I would be the best candidate for vice president because I remember anything out of the top of my head. So anything you want and need for the school year will be kept securely in my mind. Lastly, I just want to say I represent excellent qualities to hopefully be your next vice president. I'm extremely dependable, smart, and creative. All excellent qualities, if I do say so myself. Vote Brianna Duque for Vice President. Hello, everyone. For the ones that do know me, I'm Angelie Walker. And for the ones that don't know me, well, I'm still Angelie Walker. I thank you all for taking the time to listen to me explain why I should be Vice President. As Vice President, I will dedicate myself to making sure that everyone can feel the embrace of the school spirit and have the opportunity con to contribute to it. I very much believe that every student has a say in our school and that every opinion matters and accounts for something. So as your VP, I will make sure that your opinion goes towards a greater cause and I'll re represent you and everyone else, not just as students or voters, but as my classmates and my friends. Vote me, Angelie Walker, for Vice President for 2021-2022. Thank you. As Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Good morning, everyone. My name is Maya Barr. I'm in the sixth grade, and I'm running for secretary of the student council. In the seven years I've been at this school, I've gotten honorable 19 times and told my determination to complete any test that I'm given. You should vote for me because 
I will make an effort to be the voice of my fellow classmates and I will voice their opinions for the betterment of the school. You should also vote for me because I'm extremely organized and I can finish any given task. And lastly, if I'm voted, then I'll always take my time to write down minutes, which if you didn't know, minutes are notes from a student council meeting. I cannot promise to be the best, but I can promise to try my best, so make the right choice and vote for me. We wish all of our candidates the best. Our Pites Patriots Car Wash is coming up soon. It's on Saturday, Janu January 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It costs just $10 per car wash. Tickets are sold on myschoolbucks.com. This event will also be a great help to our school's athletes. Hope to see you there. Now let's check out this amazing commercial with our boys basketball team. Yo, it was good, Patriots. We're going to have an upcoming car wash for all sports coming. We need uniforms, balls, and gear. Car wash is on January 29th, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. $10 a car. Come on, let's make it the finest. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Looks like today's weather is 61 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny skies. There was a little change in our temperature, making it cold, even after winter, but we could handle a little cold weather. In other weather news, we wanted to talk about tornadoes. Sunday morning, a tornado warning was issued to all of Broward County. It may have looked like just rain and strong winds, but it was much more. Have you ever wondered what it looks like inside of a tornado? This Florida couple can tell you. Sunday, Regina and Ernie Kazar unintentionally drove right into the tornado. Even though their car tossed and turned a lot, they emerged unscathed. We definitely don't recommend this experience. Now let's go to David for our new weekly gaming segment. Hey Patriots, welcome to our new segment, BVG, also known as Best Video Games. In this segment, we will be talking about a variety of games and rating them based on their enjoyability, graphics, difficulty, and replay value, while also giving our opinions on the games. Today we will be talking about the game Jedi Fallen Order. This game was released in 2019. It can be found on PlayStation, Xbox, consoles, and PC. In this game, you go on an adventure and fight the beasts and other creatures in the Star Wars universe. Depending on the world you are in, you will get different missions. Along your journey, you are able to unlock new skills and add upgrades to your personal droid named BD-1. This game can get difficult at times, but there is always a way to finish the mission. Where did he hide the holocron? Outstanding. The graphics can vary depending on what console you play on, but either way, it has amazing graphics. For example, the effect when you add upgrades to your droid and as well as the attention to details on the map. Oh, filled all your stim slots. That's great. Well, now I feel unstoppable. You could play this over and over again and still have loads of fun. Because of the games allows you to replay the missions and each time you can't find different secrets. Overall, this is a really fun game and I would definitely rate this game a solid 9 out of 10. And here are some pros and cons of the game. That's it for this week, Patriots. I'll see you next week. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, David. That was really entertaining. Today's birthday boys and girls are Antonella Clausen, Noah Hill, Abraham Roman, Ja'Kayla Wright, Jason Brown, and Demetrius Raymondville. And also, yesterday's birthday that we missed, Abigail Duran Castro and Kellis Taya Moose. Happy birthday, and finally, a VIP birthday. A big happy birthday to RPTV's David Gonzalez. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here your Pat's Expectations represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Omley, Miss June, Miss Newton, Miss Blanc, and Miss I am Ding Kwa. You got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what does the name Nintendo mean? The correct answer is, leave luck to heaven. Now teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What material was used to make the first ever hockey pucks? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. 
Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day! Thank you.